Hey guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Talara, and it's Monday, and actually it's Thursday. Right, and Warfronts is super late. So uh, I have an excuse, of course I have an excuse, but before that, uh, let's go ahead and note this. I am changing over from Bard Spec to Marksman. That's going to tie into the theme for the show. Also, just in case you need to know, I am mercenaried over to the Guardians right now. So, uh, wonderful. So, what's my excuse for the show being so late? As if I need one. I mean, it's the internet, it's YouTube, whatever. But I really, really try to keep on my Monday schedule, and uh, it is uh, physically painful to me when I miss it. So, uh, I can tell you there's only one thing that would keep me away from a regularly scheduled war front. Actually, there's probably half a dozen things, but uh, the, the number one thing is not having access to Rift. And indeed, I didn't. Why didn't I have access to Rift? Because of the Steam Summer Sale. For those of you who don't know, Steam is a great piece of DRM software that will sell you games at really super cheap. And I bought a bunch of them. I bought so many that I drained my PayPal account down to zero dollars. So when Tryon went to take their subscription fee, there was nothing for them to take. They promptly cut me off from the tap and my rift was cancelled. So it took me a couple of days to figure things out and straighten things out. I got a bank account linked to my PayPal, all that good uh, good garbage, and uh, Rift is now back. Tryon reached in and took a fistful of my money, and they were happy to turn my account back on. So uh, here I am. I've been playing uh, today. I'm, uh, I'm off a little vacation. Uh, the family's up in Chicago visiting the grandparents. I'm here alone in the house just hanging out, uh, mostly nude probably 90% of the time. Uh, got all the curtains drawn, everything, just uh, just hanging out in the buff, playing Rift. Uh, so if it affects you at all, just so you know, I was nude while recording this. There you go. It's out there, folks. The image is in your head. So, let's talk about Rift. Let's talk about PvP. Let's not talk about my nakedness any longer. Uh, also, I've had a couple beers. I don't know if you can tell. Had a couple beers. Not gonna lie. Shot a Jameson, too. Not gonna lie. So... Let's talk about the theme for this week's show. This week's show is about flexibility, right? Flexibility, because you saw me changing over to my DPS spec during the intro. Why did I do that? Well, I took a look. It's a small game, just four people, two DPS, one healer, and a support. That didn't really seem like a good makeup to me. I figured our healer is a cleric, so he's probably going to own ass, and indeed he did. So I went ahead and shuffled over to DPS. And it turned out to be really good. It turned out to really work out nicely for my team. So uh, I always hate to assist the Guardians in getting a win against my beloved Defiant, but it does happen, and uh, I played an integral role in it this time. So uh, uh, the thing about flexibility that I enjoy is that it gives me the ability to feel useful. Not everybody's going to care about that, right? Some people just want to be their guy. They just want to be that behemoth of PvP who's dealing out a ton of damage, doesn't really care whether he's getting heals or not, doesn't really care about the objectives, he just wants to swing a giant axe and cut dude's heads off. And uh, indeed, that's fine. Go for it. If that's what you enjoy, please, by all means, do it. Flexibility is not required. Uh, you know, it's not required to be a well-rounded player to understand the uh, extra specs that you have access to in your class. Uh, but just do what you want to do. Have fun. What I have fun doing is playing a role that is useful. And that's why I find myself playing support so often, because oftentimes that is the thing that's lacking in games. That uh, character who's just going to toss in a little bit of extra healing and uh, be really, really useful to his team. But in this case, what was needed was a little more DPS, needed a little more damage to be thrown out there. And uh, it was time to switch over to Marksman. I did so. I try to keep up on my Marksman a little bit. Uh, I don't always get a good chance to uh, to play Marksman. I do it in PvE quite often, just to keep my, uh, keep my mind sharp and remember my skills. And uh, I do enjoy it. I really do enjoy the spec. Um, also, let's address something real quick that I, I haven't mentioned. It's these giant ass nameplates, right? Well, uh, I realized by looking through the options that you can change the size of the nameplate when you have a hostile target selected. And I did. I made it like 300% bigger. And it's really easy to see and it's really cool, but it takes up like 25% of the screen. Now, I really, really do like having the nameplate much bigger on my selected target. So that's something I'm going to continue doing, but I want to refine the size of it down just a little bit uh, because that's massive, frankly. 
uh, but it's great to be able to see my combo points so clearly to see the casting bar and uh, it really really works real well for me especially when I'm playing marksman because I do have an interrupt uh, that I can use and that comes in handy knowing when they're casting what they're casting all that sort of stuff so flexibility flexibility you know, I really don't think there's a whole lot more I can say about flexibility other than uh, it is an acquired skill. You know, you want to make sure that you're not just being flexible for the sake of being flexible. If you're not able to heal, uh, don't go over to healer. That's why I almost never play my Chloromancer spec, because I feel like what little damage I do as a pyro is better than the confused healing I might try to do as a Chloromancer. Uh, so I do tend to stick with something that I feel I excel at, uh, even to the small degree that I excel at DPS as a, as a mage. So, uh, yeah, be prepared. You can't just be flexible and just expect it to work. It's like anything. Uh, you have to be a little bit practiced at it. So uh, flexibility is a great thing. In summary, flexibility is a great thing. It is a wonderful thing to help your team. I mean, these are pugs, right? So they're not well organized. Every little bit helps. And the extra healing you might be doing as a support could make the difference, as I feel it often does when I am in games. And uh, the extra DPS you're doing in a small game like this could be the difference maker, as, again, I feel like it probably was in this game. Uh, actually ended up doing decent enough on on DPS, uh, third out of the three of us that started. But hey, you know, I put out a lot of good damage, and uh, I think I helped my team to victory there. And that is what I find fun about this game. If you want to be a glass cannon who just goes forward and destroys things, do it. If you want to be a hulking brute who wades into battle and chops guys in half, just do it. Do whatever you enjoy. But if you feel up to it, flexibility is a great challenge. It challenges your playing ability, and it might just turn out to be something that you enjoy. All right, guys, thanks for sticking with me here. I do apologize for the lateness of this show. I am glad I could get something up, though, even in my slightly inebriated state. So, yeah, that's going to be it. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy. Hey, guys, it's Big Dave here for Tales of Tol... <clears throat> oh, I just threw open my mouth a little bit, I think. <coughs> God.